Hi, this is Adam Ginsberg. And in this video tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process of submitting an item to the Prep Center. So the first thing that we're gonna to do to get started is we're gonna click on the left-hand side of our dashboard where it says Prep Center 2.0. Now, once you're inside the Prep Center, you'll see some important information. In the upper left-hand corner, you'll see the address to the Prep Center. And then in the middle of the page, you'll see a very important announcement. And there are two points there that I want to cover. Number one, you must submit a prep center form prior to your items showing up at the prep center. The prep center is not a warehouse, so we don't have the space to simply hold on to your items and wait for you to submit this form. So this is your main responsibility. Now, it doesn't really matter to us when you submit the form, as long as the form is submitted prior to your items arriving. The second thing that you want to note is that the Prep Center will not receive items from Walmart or from Ikea. So if you're sourcing from either of those two vendors, make sure that you're sending the products directly to your house or to some other location. But if an item comes from Ikea or an item comes from a Walmart uh, shipment, those deliveries will be refused. Now, I want to make sure you understand that. It is there in writing, but I wanted to review that as well. So with that being said, when you're completing your prep center form, there's just a few important fields that you need to fill out. Now, there's one other important bit of information that I want you to know about. When you are sending the items to the prep center, you'll notice that the address field says Internet Mastery Prep Center C slash O, which is care of, and then your name. Some retailers only give you limited space when you are filling out a shipping plan, right? When you're checking out on the website, they don't always give you two lines and there isn't always enough space to put all of that information. So if you needed to abbreviate, the most important part of the address is your name. So you could abbreviate IM Prep Center. You could even abbreviate IMPC and then your name. Now, if you don't have room for the C slash O or sometimes a checkout won't allow you to do a slash. So CO just stands for care of. You can ignore that if necessary. You could put IMPC, IM Prep Center, IMPC, and then your name. Again, the most important part of the address is that when it arrives, we know that it is coming from you. If you have an LLC, if you have a business entity, please do not put that as the two address. We have to have it go to your name so that we know when it arrives what we are expecting so we can handle that for you in the most time sensitive manner possible. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and learn how to submit a form. So the first thing that we'll see is that there are five required fields and they're noted by a star, a red star. One, two, three, four, and five. The product information is the name of the item. Now, my suggestion to you is not to put more than two or three items, whether they are from the same supplier or different suppliers. But I wouldn't put, if it was me, I wouldn't put more than two or three items in the same shipping plan. The reason for that is that if a plan is not complete, we cannot send it off to Amazon for you. So if you've got seven eight, or eight or nine different items in a plan and you've done that to save on shipping and we understand why you'd want to do that, just note that it might take days or even weeks for your shipping to be complete and that holds up everything else in your order. So if you're submitting no more than two or three items, I don't mean quantity of each item, I mean different items, maybe a video game, a hairbrush, and a pair of shoes. No more than three items in a plan, it will help to get that plan out to Amazon just a little bit faster. Again, just a suggestion, you can submit up to 10 different items on the same plan if that's something that you are willing to do. So in the product information field, I'm gonna add in two different items to the shipping plan. 
I'll take a look at my Amazon seller account and I'm gonna add in a WWE Xbox game and some dried strawberries. So right here at the top of the page, I'm just gonna type in WWE Xbox and dried strawberries. This does not have to be the title that is on Amazon. It does not have to be the full title of the item. It just has to be some indicator of what is in the plan so we know how to plan accordingly for you. The next thing is that you can determine whether or not this is a bundle. Now I'm gonna leave that off for now. I just want this video to be how to submit a prep center plan. Uh, in another video, I'll talk about all the details of bundles, how they're important, why they're important, how to use them, why to use them, and how to submit them and why to submit them in the prep form. But for now, we're just gonna do a simple prep submission. Now the ASIN and the SKU are going to come directly from your Amazon seller account. It's super important that this item be listed as FBA within your Amazon seller account. You cannot send items to Amazon for fulfillment if they're not listed as FBA. And in a previous video, I shared with you how to find the ASIN and how to find the SKU and how to confirm that your item is listed as FBA. So we're not gonna do that in this particular video, but we are gonna submit a form using that information. So I'm gonna head over to my Amazon account and the first item that we're going to submit, I'm gonna copy this ASIN here and I'm going to paste it into the ASIN box. Then I'll go back to Amazon and I'll copy the complete SKU and I'll bring that over to the prep form. And then the next field that I want to include is how many I'm sending in. So in this case, I'm gonna send in six. Now the original shipping source is where is the item coming from? So in this case, it's gonna come from Target. So we'll enter the word Target here. Now because I'm sending in two different items in this particular plan and they're coming from two different sources, what I need to do is simply click on the plus button in the prep submission form. So right here, there's a plus button where it says add another product. I'm gonna add a second product. This product, by the way, is gonna come from Costco. So I'm going to add in Target and Costco as my original shipping source. And the tracking number is not a required field. You do not need to submit the tracking number for a prep center submission. Once the form has been submitted, you cannot go back and re-add the tracking number in after the fact. So I'm gonna head over to Amazon. I'm gonna grab my second item. This is going to be the Nutty Fruity Strawberry. I'll put the ASIN in the ASIN box. I'll make sure to copy the entire SKU. I'll put that in the SKU field. And here's something that's really important. What you'll notice is that even though I copied the entire ASIN, there is space after the star, but before the I. And you see that feel? I'm just highlighting the space here. So if I highlight this space, you'll notice when I do this up here at the top one, there is no space. When I highlight this space, even though I copied and pasted directly from my Amazon account, the way that it was inputted added space. Now the first one that I did, the Xbox game, there was no space. But in the second one, there's some space, some blank space. You might miss it, which would cause the item not to be able to be submitted, causing an error. So I'm going to delete that space. Now the last thing that I need to do is I need to enter the quantity for this item. But before I do that, I want you to see that I cannot submit items to the prep center because the submit button is grayed out. The reason it's grayed out is simply because I've not completed all of the fields. So once I enter the quantity, that will complete every required field and the submit button will automatically be clickable. Let's do that. So I add in the 12, you can see that the button is now blue and I'll click on submit. And when I do, the process has now begun. If we take a look at this page, we'll see it says submitted successfully. It has my product info. It has my status as being submitted. And then it tells me the original shipping source. If I click on actions, 
it'll show me what it was that I submitted. Now, one of the things I want you to understand when you're using the Prep Center is that there is no communication back and forth between the Prep Center and you, the person who is using the Prep Center. However, you will see updates on this prep form. So in this case, we can see that the items have been submitted. However, when the items are received at the prep center, this status will change within the system. When your items are sent to Amazon, this status will change. When the items are received by Amazon, this status will change. Think about it like a Domino's pizza tracker. When it's in the oven, when it's ready, when it's out for delivery, the status just changes. And that happens within this prep center technology. So that's the process of completing a prep center form. Now, let me remind you of how powerful this technology is. You have two responsibilities. Number one, you need to submit a prep form. Number two, you need to send the items to the prep center. Now, the order of which you do either of those things doesn't matter as long as the prep form is submitted prior to your items arriving. You don't upload labels. You don't download labels. You don't send us labels. You don't log into Amazon and create a shipping plan. This is a hands-free turnkey process where the prep center will take care of all of it for you. You spend your time product sourcing. Let the prep center spend their time prepping and sending your items to Amazon on your behalf. The more you utilize the prep center, the bigger and the faster your Amazon business will grow.